Hello everyone. In this session, we'll start unit number three, which is sentiment analysis, and we'll discuss the first topic, which is sentiment analysis overview. So these are the topics in this unit. Unit number three: sentiment analysis overview, application, sentiment analysis process, sentiment analysis, and speech analytics. So in the first topic, sentiment analysis overview, we will discuss about sentiment, sentiment classification, and sentiment analysis. So first, let us discuss about sentiment. Sentiment is difficult word to define. It is often linked to or confused confused with other terms like belief, view, opinion, and conviction. Sentiment suggests a settled opinion reflective of one's feelings. Sentiment analysis is different from simply finding topics in text. Let us see the difference between sentiment analysis and simply finding topics in text. first one feeling versus facts when we look for sentiment we are looking for opinions feelings like whether something is good or bad in topic categorization we just want to know what the topic is about for example sports politics without any need to know how people feel about it next emotional strength with sentiment we often want to measure how positive or negative a text is not just that it's positive or negative this is different from topic analysis where it's enough to know the subject next sentiment classification sentiment classification on the other hand usually deals with two classes positive versus negative or a range of polarity for example star rating for movies or even a range of strength of opinion working with just a few categories seems simple but it's hard because each category includes many different topics users and types of documents next we'll discuss about sentiment analysis sentiment analysis has many names it is often referred to as opinion mining subjectivity analysis and appraisal extraction with some connection to affective computing as a field of research sentiment analysis is closely related to computational linguistic natural language processing and text mining sentiment analysis is trying to answer the question what do people feel about a certain topic by digging into the opinions of many using a variety of automated tools in business especially in marketing and consumer relationship management sentiment analysis seeks to detect favorable and unfavorable opinion towards a specific products or services using a large number of textual data sources for example it may be from customer feedback in the form of web posting tweets blogs etc sentiment that appears in text comes in two flavors explicit and implicit explicit where the subjective sentence directly expresses an opinion it for example it's a wonderful day and implicit where the text implies an opinion the handle breaks too easily most of the earlier work done in sentiment analysis focused on first kind of sentiment since it was easier to analyze current trends are to implement analytical methods to consider both implicit and explicit sentiments sentiment polarity is particular feature of text that sentiment analysis primarily focuses on it is usually dichotomized into two positive and negative but polarity can also be thought of as a range a document containing several several opinionated statements would have a mixed polarity overall which is different from 
not having polarity at all so this was a this was about the first topic sentiment analytics over sentiment analysis overview so the next topic that we'll be discussing in discussing later are sentiment analysis applications in this we'll be discussing about voice of customer voice of market voice of employee brand management financial markets politics government intelligence and other interesting areas next we'll discuss about sentiment analysis process in this we have different steps like step 1 will be sentiment detection step 2 np polarity classification step 3 target identification step 4 collection and aggregation we'll also discuss about method for polarity identifications we have two methods first one is using a lexicon as a reference library and using a collection of training documents and the last topic in this unit will be sentiment analysis and speech analytics in this we'll be discussing about what is speech analytics and we'll discuss two primary methods that have been deployed to predict sentiment within audio those are acoustic or phonetic and linguistic modeling thank you